Hi folks, it's James here at Tiny Battles with another video for you. This week I'm looking at these, the M551 Sheridan. During lockdown, as uh, some of you might know, this Battlefront have been doing a Shows Your Hobby uh, on Facebook. So every day they've been putting a post up where you can show what you've been doing, what you've been painting, so on and so forth. And the other week I put up a picture of what I'd done with the Rams Devils. So I'd literally built them, put the, I was drawn. So I picked these. I'm not, I'll be honest, I picked them because I thought they were cool for starters. I also thought they would go with what I was wanting to do, but turns out they don't. So I'm going to build something different with them. But what we're going to do is an unboxing today. So we'll have a closer look at what's here. So it's the usual Battlefront Team Yankee box. So we've got logo so this is the old logo so nowadays it's world war three team yankee uh, i think the new starter and the new start boxes have actually got that logo on and as well as the new releases nice artwork with uh, the 551s in the merdc camo uh, on the back we've got the assembly instructions so it contains five m551 sheridan tanks a plastic tank commander screw to add to my pile of plastic tank commanders a decal sheet and the two unit cards and then the instructions. Now this is a resin and white metal model. Uh, I'm used to doing plastic, so building this one, which I may do a video of later, is gonna be a bit of a challenge, because like I say, I've not done this before. So without any further ado, let's see what's in the box. Okay, so here are our contents. So everything comes packed in a little plastic tray, which I might end up keeping actually, because that's quite good for bits and what have you. We've got the usual little Ziploc baggie with our cards, decals, and tank commander sprewing. We'll have a look at that in a minute. And then we've got the main plastic shell. So let's pop this open. Okay, so in the plastic tray, we've got our five Sheridan hulls and turrets. They're actually really quite nice detail on these. Uh, can you see that? Lots and lots of stowage on there. A few mold lines, so which should clear off quite easily. We've got the upper hull, so again, little bits of stowage, lots of nice detail on that. It's a mini that could be redone in plastic. But that's the resiny bits. Let's have a look at the white metal. The white metal sections are as follows. We've got tracks left and right, uh, open and closed com tank commander hatches, uh, the mounted, I believe it's a 50 cal gun. Let's have a look. The uh, commander shield, the main cannon, smoke dispensers, and hatches. We'll have a look at the cards. Okay, so the M551 Sheridan, it's a tank platoon for Team Yankee. We've got tank unit, amphibious, infrared, uh, courage of four plus, skill of four plus, morale of three plus, remount of, on a four and above, assault on a four, and counter attack on a four. It's not very highly armored for a tank. Uh, FA is four, side is two, top is one. Terrain tactical of 10 inches, terrain dash of 16, cross country dash of 28, road of 32 with a cross of three plus. The main gun is the M80 152 millimeter gun, 16 inch range, rate of fire one, halted and moving with an anti-tank of 21 and a fire power of one plus, and then brutal, of heat, brutal heat and stabilizer. Or the Shillelagh missile it has a range of 16 to 48 inches, halted ROF of one with a movement of zero. AT of 22 with a three plus firepower as well as guided and heat. I can field my platoon of these for all five for 10 points, four for eight, three for six, and two for four. So they're, they're actually working out two points each, so they don't do weird sliding scale thing like some of the Soviet units do. So looking forward to building these. I do have a huge amount of stuff I'm building at the moment. And up here. I promise I will do, I'll put some photos on the Facebook page when they're all done and dusted. Uh, so that's been me today. Thank you very much for your time. See you again soon.